we do restoration of vintage refrigerators. We call them retro fridges. And uh, we have artwork made by myself and my husband. Uh, I'm an enamelist, enamel on copper, uh, art and jewelry, and my husband does stained glass and some painting. And then we also work with vintage items just as they are. We don't do anything to them. We'll just um, look for unique items that people may want for their home. A while back, uh, way back, my family owned a um, automotive shop. And so back in 2008, when small businesses had a really hard time surviving, uh, we uh, found a different line of business. <laughs> We had one of the old fridges and my brother just cleaned it up. He gave it a new paint job and when it was done, we had no intentions of doing anything with it other than just having it for ourselves. I thought, well, let's try selling it. And after a few months it sold and we just thought, well, let's do another one. And it was just kind of this natural progression for us to do this and it caught a lot of attention. All the parts are um, taken apart and we take off the paint. Sometimes there's three layers of paint on these things, sometimes more. <laughs> and then we do any repair work that's needed to the metal. Uh, very similar to repairing a car, which was why it was kind of a natural step for us. My dad is a licensed refrigeration specialist and he knows how to um, inspect these, make sure they're working properly as well as convert to modern refrigeration. Well, one of my most popular um, items that I sell of my enamels are my Lucky Pennies. I work with enamel on copper, which is not a very common um, medium for artists. So I use old pennies that are 100% copper, and enamel is a powdered glass. When fired in a kiln, it fuses to the metal and it stays in the kiln for about a minute to a minute and a half. And I make art and jewelry, um, items for the home. My husband, also a CIA alum, uh, he was also in painting and he specializes in stained glass. And he makes uh, stained glass pieces for um, ornaments and home decor items as well as some jewelry. I think it's a conversation piece. If you have a, a vintage fridge in your home, if it's in your kitchen or your basement, what, whatever you, uh, you choose, it's gonna catch attention and I think it adds a lot of character to your home.